so hi friends welcome back to my channel and this is dreamsel and you are going to learn something about the spec flow hooks so in java some of you have already done what are annotations how to use the annotations and what is the importance of annotations so same thing is hooks in c sharp or in spec flow there is nothing new in hooks uh, same like annotations only so basically the hooks are the event binding methods which is used before automation logics to be performed so whenever if you want to have some extra logic to be added before your test case run like you want to have a database connection then for selenium if you want to open the browsers check the load the host name and all that thing then that are the preconditions that require before the scenarios to be executed correct so for that we require the you hooks so the hooks can be at the different levels also some of the preconditions requires one time configurations some of them require before each and every scenario some conditions may require before every features so the different types of hooks are available in spec flow and we can go with one by one so we have already seen one kind of hooks uh, which is the step argument transformation so now let's start with the two types of hooks we are going to see that hooks at the test run level and hooks at the feature level these are the top level hooks that is run only once so you can say the test run is always going to be executed once and the feature file if we have a multiple feature file in our project then according to the feature the hooks will get executed correct so currently we have three features and if i uh, implement the logic for before features hooks then it will execute three times so let's start with the hooks so to create a hook first of all we will add a separate folder to make the logic uh, more readable or you can say properly maintainable then uh, you can directly add the item and you can go to spec flow and you can see here the hooks bindings are already there so you don't need to create anything it's already created but by default it is creating for the before scenario and after scenario so don't worry about this we will cover is this before scenario and after scenario in the next video so we are going to see the example for before test run and before the feature so suppose in case you need to create an uh, hooks by yourself so don't worry we'll see the example for that also uh, we'll create a class We'll create a class and we'll name it as a different hooks. So first of all, whenever you are having something related to specific uh, spec flow, you need to add the bindings, and you will also use the namespace for the tech talk dot spec flow. Uh, so just implement or use that namespace, and then we are going to add before test run. So you can see these are the hooks available before test run, before feature, scenario, scenario block, scenario step. So let's start with the before test run. And here I'm going to write public void uh, before run I can say. Uh, same way we will implement the logic for after test run and we'll write public. Going after run. Oops, I made the mistake. Uh, always make sure that your codings are having a proper indentation so that it looks uh, properly and more readable and clear. Otherwise, it's very complex to understand the code. We'll uh, put a debug point here also and here also and we'll try to see what happens and how the execution is going on. So we can see the cursor is coming to before run method first. No, 
it's showing the error let's see what it is telling that the feature binding method for before after feature and before after run must always be static so the error is directly indicating and simply simply saying that you should implement what static keyword uh, so whenever we use public static void main in java why we what is the importance of static because without object we should call the main method before creating any object the same goes here before run after run and before feature and after feature so don't forget to add the static keyword and let's debug it again so you can see the cursor is here before run if I continue the cursor will go to my Gherkin that is the scenario is executed then scenario steps are executed and later on after run is there and my disk is get passed so this was the simple hook so whenever you want to run anything you can start your database connection and after the test run you can close your database connection you can even clear your cache memory for the browsers as well so that was all about the before test run and after test run same way we will implement the before feature so mm -hmm. hope you are practically also trying out how to uh, work with this pack flow and hope you don't face any problem if you face any problem then please let me know and you can comment it out in the below sections if you have any errors i will be happy to resolve that errors from the spec flow point of view and from the automation point of view so i have added the before feature and after feature and we'll also put the debug point to understand the flow so let's debug it it's nothing new but whatever we have seen in the previous video of java about the annot annotation the same is here you can compare it so before run then you can see the cursor is at the before feature and after the feature it will go to scenario will execute the scenario then it will go to complete the feature and then it will go to complete after run and the test case get passed so the test runs then the feature runs in scenario then scenario is completed then after feature is run and then we have after test run so as we have seen in the previous few videos that we can store the values at scenario level using the scenario context and we can get the values using a scenario context in the different steps also so we have seen the data passing there correct so same goes for the feature level also so for the feature we have feature context so it's same logic there is nothing new we can store here anything you want then uh, we'll have an example for how to fetch the feature title that which feature is executed suppose basis on that you want to open some connection then you can write it here and you can compare that if you want it is xyz feature then perform this logic so it will give you this so let's see what the title is showing up here let me store the title and we'll see what the title of the feature file is same we can go with the scenarios also if you want to get the information about the tags that we have used then you can also get the tag informations uh, let me add the debug point so you can see in the title is showing the spec flow feature 3 Right, so basically you can filter out the logic of the hooks based on the title based on the hooks sorry based on the tags and based on the descriptions so you can see here if I write here dot then you can get here tags also 
so if it is of the smoke tag then perform this if it is the regression then open this database connection so you can have n number of logic implemented here so this was all about the fee hooks at the feature level and at the test run level and meanwhile we have also seen how to use the feature context to get the feature level information and you can store the same thing like we stored in the scenario context also so next we are going to see about the scenario hooks that is before scenario after scenario some of the things you already know about the scenario context so we will not cover that block and then we will move to uh, the scenario block sorry Uh, we'll see before scenario, before scenario blocks, before step. So we will cover these three things in the next uh, uh, series. So till then, enjoy the hooks and keep coding, keep learning in the lockdown. Enjoy this learning prayer. Stay safe, stay home. Bye.